Hey everyone, today I want to show you how to set up your in-control system to act as a type of home security system. What my project is going to involve today is detecting motion on a motion sensor and then telling an IP camera from FOSCAM to record for a few seconds. Now this would be something I could use at nighttime if, if the house is in away mode to kind of see what's going on and record things. First of all, I want to go and create a scene. I'm going to call this scene camera record. And the first step in this is to add my camera device. So let me cruise through here and find my IP camera. Here it is. Now notice right here we've got the positions. My camera's in a room that's somewhat large and so I need to actually pan it throughout the room to get a good view of everything that's going on in there. So for the first step I'm going to move it to position one and I want to actually add a pause between each movement of the camera so it'll sit at each position. I'm going to set mine to 7,000. That means seven seconds. So my camera will start at position one, pause, and then I'm going to add my camera again so that I can tell it to move to the second position. Okay, there we go. So, again, I'm going to add another pause. I've got three positions that I want to cover. I'll make this one 7,000 again for seven seconds, and then I want to add my IP camera yet again. This time, I'm telling it to go to position three. So again, what this is going to do is tell my living room camera to move from to start in position one, delay for seven seconds, move to position two, another delay, and then finally move to position three. So if I were to activate this scene right now, I would be able to see my camera panning. Now to get it to record, I want to add a script. So you'll notice in the new version of InControl, there's a FOSCAM record script. Go ahead and select that. Just like that. And we'll have it as a prescript, so it'll start executing. It'll run that script as soon as the scene is activated. Okay, the next thing we want to do is customize that script to work with our camera. Now, first of all, we need to go and find out what our camera's short ID is. So, in my list, this is the living room cam. Go ahead and double click it and you'll notice there's a short ID field here so 152. So make a note of that and then open up that script file that we set up in our in our scene over here. So it's FOSCAM record. I'm just going to open it up in my favorite editor which is Notepad++. And as we go down through this script there's this section right here that we can customize to fit our needs. This will be different on yours, but find out where you've got VLC, which is Video LAN. In, in the comments of this video, I'll have a link showing you where you can download that. This is where you want the videos to be dumped to when they're recorded. That ID we had a minute ago, 152, that you found in InControl, go ahead and put that in there. And then this is how long you want to record your video for. For me, I've got about 21 seconds of, of total footage that I want to get, so I'm going to just change that to 21. And that's all I need to do. I'll go ahead and save that script. And I'm going to switch back over to InControl right here. Now, at this point I could test this by activating the scene and I should actually see the camera start moving and then I would have a video to look at when I was all said and done. But let's go one step further and actually make this activated based on my motion sensor. So go over to rules and I'm going to create a new rule here. And I'm going to call it motion activated camera. My trigger is going to be on device change state and level. And I want to activate a scene when that happens. So I'll go into my real data. 
the node ID that I want to activate this scene is my motion sensor. The scene I want to activate is that one we just barely made. That's not the right one. There it is. And I want it to activate when the motion sensor is off and turns on. So I'll set that to true. And I'm done. So now, when there's motion that's detected on my camera, and excuse me, on my motion sensor, it'll automatically activate that scene that we created and record some video for me. Now, if you wanted to take this even further, you could set up some automated process that would FTP those out to a secure location so that if, if your computer was compromised because of a theft, for example, you would have some video surveillance of it. Anyway, thank you for watching.